Hey guys, how's it going? Ghostly Rich here today, and today we're going to wire in a volume control. So the first thing you're going to need to know is what wiring you have in your house. Once you do that, you should have four wires hanging out of here. Two to go down to your amplifier, two go to your speakers. Pretty easy to find out which one's which, because you take a battery like so, and it might be hard for me to show you, but if you bump it, let's see if I can do it with one hand. Bam. So we just bump that. I know it's a speaker. So we're going to put both our speakers in here. If you look, this one is actually labeled left and right. Make sure that you put the left speaker in the left and the right in the right, if that matters to you. Then the same, with these two, what you can always do is you can either tone them back down to the amp or just hook them up in whatever order. And then later on, when you go to hook your amplifier up to this, you'll have someone stand up here and you can battery bump right down at your amplifier side, which uh, when they bump the one, it'll make one of your speakers go. When it does make one of your lovely speakers go that are in the ceiling, you'll know which is left and which is right down from the amplifier, which is where it really matters if you really care. Afterwards, so we're going to put both our speakers in this side right here. Now, both those amplifiers go in in the other side. Now, just so you know, most of these, in the case it isn't labeled on here, the negative goes in the center. So if you're doing a left or right negative, just put, make sure your black wire goes in the center, positive goes here, black wire goes in the center, positive goes on this side. Make sense? Again, black, positive, black, positive. Always put the negative there for most volume controls. After you do that, your volume control will tell you you have an input and an output if you look here. If not, it might have speakers and amplifier. Those are the ones that are really easy. But if this confuses you, when you go to plug this in, make sure you plug in the speakers into output and the amplifier into input. Okay. Once you click those on, just bolt this into the wall. After you screw that into the wall, put your face plates on and stuff, crank the volume on this, go downstairs and try and bump it with a battery. If it doesn't work, try cranking the other way. You might have the volume control upside down. That's about it. That's how easy it is to wire in a volume control and replace one. Alright, thanks again for watching.